So I showed you guys how to, you know, given ace of eight and ace of 12, you plug those in, find the difference, and you're able to find our difference four. Now to find ace of one, we can plug that back in, we can plug the information back into our formula. So if I know ace of eight is equal to ace of one plus, well, the difference from going from eight to one is now going to be seven D, which now we know that, so now we can plug in because the difference from ace of one to eight is going to be eight minus one, which will be seven. Ace of eight is 26 equals ace of one, which we're trying to figure out, plus seven times our difference, which is four. So we have 26 equals ace of one plus 28. Subtract 28, subtract 28, negative two equals ace of one. Then once you know that ace of one equals negative two and you know the difference is four, you can keep on adding four to find the rest of the other terms. Okay? So, what? Yeah, but this way is simpler. You're right. But what if I said find the first five terms and I give you ace of 81 and ace of 92? You're not going to want to keep on going all the way backwards down to ace of 1, right? So you need to understand you can apply this formula back again to find your original first term. OK. Um, where did you get 7 from? I don't know. Or is that just part of the equation? No. What's the difference from 1?